In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. As we gather to celebrate today, it's another special occasion for us, for we're celebrating another First Communion. Charlie Hollander is here with his family. He will receive the Eucharist for the first time. Again, this is the year of doing things differently, and we welcome him as he's been waiting anxiously to receive the body and blood of Christ. We pray for him that the Lord will be with him in a special way. As we gather to celebrate today, we remember during our liturgy, Tina Rea. We ask God to be with us today and to forgive all our sins. Lord Jesus, who came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her, I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my Baal. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, his greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They, sh they publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, my daughter has just died, but come lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned, Jesus turned around and saw her and said, courage daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house, and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion. He said, go away, 
The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning once again and welcome as we gather to celebrate and as we listen to both our readings today I think the word that we could use to be fitting for both of them would be the word hope. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Hosea we hear how the Lord gives hope through the prophet to the people of Israel. They had broken the covenant, they had wandered far from their relationship but the Lord is ready and welcome, uh, always welcoming them back, ready to forgive them, ready to make them know who the Lord is in their lives. He, the prophet Hosea fills the people of Israel with hope. And in our gospel today, we hear of two stories, the woman who is suffering from hemorrhages for many years and the little girl who seems to be, who is dead. Jesus is able to give both hope in that he stops the woman from being sick and he brings the girl back to life and gives hope to the family of the girl and to all who are watching this because they are amazed at what he is able to do. The woman and the family had faith in Jesus Christ. They knew that he would be able to help them in their time of need they knew that they could place their hope and trust in him. And for all of us, we are called to do the same. As we make our journeys in life, there are different things that come before us that challenge us, that sometimes make life difficult. And we know that if we put our hope and faith in the power and presence of Christ, that can make all the difference in how we live our lives each day. And today we pray in a special way for Charlie and for all the other classmates of his that have received and will be receiving the first Eucharist for the first time. For they too have this desire and hope in Jesus Christ. And they too are calling for their faith to grow. And this is another step in their, in, the grow, in their growing in their faith life by receiving the Eucharist and then in a few years when they come to receive confirmation and be part of a church community, their faith in the power and presence of Christ keeps growing. And we hope that the Lord will be with them in so many special ways so that they can reali realize that they are children of God and the Lord is with them to help them in all that life puts before them. So today, as a community of faith, we pray in a special way for Charlie, that he will fill, be filled with the love and peace and joy of Jesus Christ as he receives the Eucharist for the first time. And we too put our faith and hope in the Lord, knowing that he is with us always to help us in our journeys of faith. My friends, let us now bring our prayers before the Lord. For our church leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide their work and give them the strength to govern wisely, we pray to the Lord. For nations throughout the world, may the Lord deliver them from the evils of war and oppression, we pray to the Lord. For Charlie and all, for all those who have received and will receive the Eucharist for the first time. May be, they be filled with the love and peace of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here in this holy place, may the word and sacrament we receive nourish and sustain us always, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and need to feel the healing presence of Christ, especially all those suffering with the coronavirus, Maria Hajduk, Madeline Kennedy, Bill Hamilton, Jeannie Russo, Martha DePaolo, and Bobby Matisic, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially those who have lost their lives as a result of the virus, may they rest in God's embrace 
we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, hear the needs of your people we have offered and answer them in your mercy. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an, an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Maria Goretti and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, pray the sins of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Today for the reception of the Eucharist, Charlie and his family will receive the Eucharist first, and then we will be in our usual places on either sides uh, by the columns and you return to your seats along the aisle by the windows.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. And in honor of our Blessed Mother, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Once again, we congratulate Charlie. We give him a round of applause. Congratulations. And may you know always that the love of Christ is with you in so many special ways. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.